the work. And then I worked in Japan for the NSA um, before eventually bouncing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I ended up in Hawaii in a little place called the Office of Information Sharing. Um, it was only here, uh, and I was the sole employee of the Office of Information Sharing. Uh, they didn't realize how good I would be at that job, and neither did I, um, that I could see the whole picture, which was at the same time that I was uh, beginning to identify with the government, the government was beginning to identify less with its citizens and the public of the world more generally. Um, what had happened was as, uh, you know, we grew up with this idea of the uh, private citizen because we have no um, power or influence relative to the great institutions of the day, uh, and the public official right, uh, where we know everything about them and what they're doing, who they're meeting with and what their policies are and what their interests are. We scrutinize them because they order our lives. They're directed to determine what happens tomorrow. Uh, well, that was being inverted. And because of the new war on terror, all the ideals, all of the old ideals uh, could be tossed away and replaced with a new system. And that was the system of mass surveillance that we were publicly told about. Uh, the government knew it was likely unconstitutional and, and certainly uh, illegal. But they continued with it anyway because they argued to themselves, at least, it was necessary. Uh, it was not necessary, and it would take some time to, to establish that with facts, and that's you know the, the story that we've got in the years since. But in brief, realizing this through the documentation of the architecture of this system, how it came to be, who was involved in building it and authorizing it uh, and, and constricting it, which fell to people like me who did not realize at each step of our careers what it was we were actually building. Because the need to know principle uh, collapsed your universe to your work. You didn't realize what the office next door to you was doing. You weren't supposed to for those of us uh, who did know. Um, and it was only by breaking down those barriers, the fact that I moved from CIA to NSA, that I moved from uh, actual uh, officer of government to a contractor working for private companies, extending the work of government, and then finally working in this uh, office where I could see sort of everything, uh, not just in my agency, but many other agencies, uh, that I saw the large picture. Um, and that was fundamentally that the government had lied not only to me, but to all of us. Um, and this to me seemed like something publicly, uh, broadly, we had to know. Because if uh, government is in any democracy intended to be mandated by the consent of the government, but we don't know what it is that they're doing, then that's not consent, or it's not informed consent. If consent is not informed, it's not meaningful. Uh, and so 